hello collective and welcome back to my channel lumen moon tarot so everybody it's super late at night i was on the couch chilling just relaxing i was gonna go to bed and spirit is like no no you have to do one more so <laughs> here i am you guys um anyway just take what resonates leave the rest behind and thank you for joining me for this late night reading um, thank you to all of my subscribers. Welcome to everybody new here. I'm Mammy Becca. Um, all right, so collective, what I'm picking up on heavy is a masculine who's kind of giving up. You know, they're having, they're kind of having a little hissy fit. Okay, a temper tantrum, but it's like, um, it's like when a kid doesn't get their way and they're like, fine, you know what I mean? But then they're all up in their emotions, right? Um, this person is feeling extremely emotional, but trying to hide it. Okay. Um, yeah, they're kind of like, they're having, an, uh, it's, it feels like a temper tantrum and it feels like they're sort of angry at the universe as well. Okay. I, uh, this person looking back on it, they realized they did some pretty impulsive things um I, this they could have been somewhat of a player and they're wishing they wouldn't have been like that yeah they're feeling like a fool collective i'm telling you they did some really shady things here i and they're looking back on the things that they've done but yet at the same time they don't want to face it they don't want to admit that this is their problem so they're angry with the universe they're angry at god they're having a little temper tantrum, okay, because they don't want to look at themselves. They could have had all of this. They could have had the Ten of Pentacles. Um, but, uh, yeah, and this, oh. Yeah, okay, so this person may have been very materialistic, superficial, okay? They had a choice between two people uh, and I, I feel like they thought the other person uh, was more abundant than you they they went to where the grass was greener okay now they're looking at you collective and they're seeing you in this ten of pentacles energy um, I kind of get the sense this person's really kicking themselves for turning you down choosing someone else over you okay I feel like too they were uh, they chose someone oh, like with for lust and passion as well, okay? But you're the one who was solid, stable, and I feel like now you you could be very abundant, okay? Very successful, star energy. So you could have recently like started your own business. It could be an online business. Um, you could be a, a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher. Um, an empath, a healer, an astrologer. Uh, you could uh, you could have your own platform, a YouTube channel, website, blog, you know, um, but it's made you a lot of money. Whatever it is you're doing, you're using your abilities, you're, you're um, using your healing power, all of that uh, hidden knowledge that you have, you're using it, I feel, to become very abundant and successful. And this person's been watching you, okay? So, so really, I feel like in the beginning, right, when this person had this choice between you and someone else, I feel like this was reversed. I got to say, that's the feeling I'm getting. I feel like they were like you were a huge temptation for this person they came in passionately um with this wand right in and out energy maybe only wanting one thing okay maybe they uh they saw this karmic i or this whoever else this is um as the grass was greener with them okay but now Everything is reversed. Now this person is realizing that they just had um, a relationship based on, it was like a sexual relationship. They thought that um, this person had more than you did. But now you're in the Ten of Pentacles in star energy, no less. So 
um, you could have like some kind of public acclaim, public status, okay, because of what you do. So everything's just kind of um, been flipped on this person. And now they're realizing they chose lust and passion, really. That's all that they have, really, um, with this other person when they could have had the Ten of Pentacles with the star. You know, it's this person's own choices that got them into this. You know, and now they can't stop watching you. They're seeing that you're headed for stardom. You're headed for the spotlight. You may already be in the spotlight. And this person is obsessed with watching you. Like, look at this. If you have your own channel or something out here on YouTube, they're watching everything that you put out. Okay? They could watch you uh, all night long until the sun comes up. I feel like they, they're really not, they don't want to be with this other person anymore. They're just not into them. <laughs> um, yeah. They really are just obsessed about you. But this person, now they're, they're feeling dumb, okay? And they don't like that feeling. So they're angry with the universe. They're angry with God. They may even be angry with you, you know? Um, and really, it's all because they don't want to look at themselves. They only have themselves to blame. You're moving on peacefully. So, you know, um, this person, they can't, they don't have a reason to be angry with you. But I feel like they're, they're blaming everyone except for themselves. Okay? They really don't want to turn around and confront these things about themselves. They don't want to feel like more of a fool than what they already feel. And you're moving on having this victory. Like, um, I feel like this person has put you through it, but you've, you've, took, you've taken the time and you've put in that effort to heal. Okay, so I feel like you're over this person. You're in this really good, powerful, confident emperor energy. You're, you're an empress and emperor empress and emperor energy right because it's the emperor that drives the chariot and you just really just want to move on with your life you're actually quite determined to move on with your life is the energy that i'm getting here you could be a cancer you could be a, an aquarius um this person they could be a virgo aries cancer pisces scorpio maybe a leo aries sagittarius and I feel like this person just like, number one, they went after where they could get the most uh, personal enjoyment, okay? Moments of personal gratification. And they wanted to go where the grass was greener. But I feel like, I mean, you're out here having this victory. You could have recently bought a new fancy car. Congratulations. You've got all of this money, all of the success, <laughs> the spotlight. Yeah, and this person, man, see, this is it. It's like they're, they're angry. They're in this, this uh, very childlike, childish, angry little fit. And it's this person's choice that they made. Yeah, see, they put out their happiness. They put you out in the cold. This person pushed you away or sacrificed you, maybe, in this third party. And you ended up being their wish fulfillment. How about that for karma? That's what spirit says. You waited for this person. You tried to, um, you know, you held on to hope is really what I'm feeling like here. You held on to hope for this person that they would um, go into hermit energy, take a look at themselves, do the inner work and heal, okay? So that they could be ready to come in and make you some kind of love offer or an apology. Like you really held on to hope for this person. You really put a lot of energy into this connection. You know, even during your healing process. Okay, but this person, they, they didn't come forward. They were supposed to. 
okay? You were thinking, when is this person going to get it? You know, when are they going to understand this journey? When are they going to work on themselves? You know, are they going to come towards me? Are they going to give me some kind of explanation? Are they going to give me an apology? This person never showed up. Yeah, look, they they were, are moving way too slow. Okay, way too slow. This Knight of Pentacles is barely moving at all. Maybe they were guarded, you know. Um, I kind of get the sense that this person was all up in their ego. Because now that you're leaving them behind and leaving their life, like, for good, um, this person is... is they're lashing out like an immature little kid. Okay, and this is a grown man. It's a grown man. You know, they've got to realize here that um, they, they had some issues. They, number one, they treated you miserably, put you in a, a, a third party, treated you like an option, and sacrificed you. Number two, they knew they had to make something right, and they just didn't. They didn't want to face it. They still don't want to face that it was their problem. They would rather blame everyone else but themselves. Okay? So I feel like spirit is giving this person a tower moment. Okay? They're about to get their karma. They're about to get their karma. You know, yeah, and I'm getting the sense that, um, I'm getting the sense that even if they did want to come and make you an offer or try to make things right, I feel like it's, it's, it's past that time now. They may want to come in and try to give you a gift or, um, you know, just to have a conversation with you. Can we at least be friends? Can can we have peace between us? But I'm seeing that, um, I'm seeing that, number one, you already have your peace. You're in star energy. You've healed over this person. You're no longer hurting over them. So you already have your peace. You know, and number two, you've got your boundaries up here. So you're not going to accept this person back. You know, that's what it's looking like to me. I feel like you're just done with this connection. Yeah, and I'm looking at this tower and spirits on the bottom of the deck. So this person, um, if they do approach you to try to change this around, um, I feel like you may say no. Or maybe they have already tried to approach you and you just kind of walk right past them. And that could be this tower moment, them realizing that, you know what, it's done. Yeah, you're focused on you now, okay? Nine of Pentacles energy. You put your focus into all the right stuff, okay? And now it's paying off. I'm telling you, you're in the Nine of Pentacles energy now, uh, but the only thing you don't have is one pentacle, and that stands for a soulmate at your side. And um, that's going to take you to the Ten of Pentacles. Like this person, if they had done the right thing, if they had done their work, if they had come in and apologized and um, offered you something legit, they could be in this beautiful Ten of Cups. Here it is right here. Uh, this beautiful Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles energy with the star. Divine feminine energy, by the way. Okay. But they chose not to. They chose to act a fool. They chose to play little games. And they missed their opportunity with you. And now that brings us right back to the beginning. This person is an emotional mess. But they're hiding it. They don't, um, they don't want to admit to themselves that it's all of this is their fault, okay? Like, I mean, yeah, it takes two and everything, but this person did way too much, and they really were supposed to come in and say, I'm sorry, how hard is that? How hard is it 
for someone to come to somebody that they've wronged, that they know that they hurt, and say, look, I'm really, truly sorry for hurting you. You know what? That's all this person had to do. But no, instead, they miss out on these blessings. They miss out on you and your love. And they end up feeling like a fool. Yeah. But, you know, I feel like spirit is giving them this tower moment because they need to turn around and look at the, the ways that they treat other people. Okay? People need to look at the way we treat other people. Okay? And a person like this, you know what? They're, they're going to continue to play these games with other people. And spirit's trying to put an end to that. Spirit doesn't want any more of that shady, sneaky behavior. So, yeah, this person is, you know, they're going to get tower moments until they look at themselves and learn their lessons and, and change the way they treat others, okay? But I feel like you were a big lesson um, for this person. This is a huge lesson that you taught this person, okay? Because they're truly feeling this now. And, and here's the thing, um, your energy and, and them feeling that loss of you will make this person look at themselves and they will go through a change, okay? Yeah, so, you know, as a light worker, Divine Feminine, you did what you were supposed to do here. And now Spirit's taking over. I feel like you're going to be moving forward into the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, being that you're, you're single now and very stable and independent, okay? You're about to get a love offer as well from somebody new, okay? That, that may even be this person here coming in, but I know you have new love coming in. And considering that you're an empress, you're going to have somebody who's going to match that energy. Okay, so um, yes, and that is going to lead to your Ten of Pentacles. So I know in the future you're getting love. You're going to be getting a, um, a commitment with someone and moving on and into your Ten of Cups, which is emotional fulfillment, wish fulfillment, happiness, man. This new cycle is going to be way different from the last one. Okay, this new cycle, I feel like it's your time, it's your turn to finally be happy and feel truly loved. All right. Whew. Anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.